What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And I gotta remind myself to talk low, because if I talk too high, then my audio is gonna mess up. So, uh, get used to me hearing, or get used to hearing my voice sounding like this. Just go ahead and get used to it. Any way, season 15 is now upon us. And the big question is, or a question that might get asked later on in the video is, Jet, what do you think about season 15? Honestly, um, I don't know. Because, even though I just got my counter in for today, and y'all y'all can tell, y'all can tell, because, um, I just got my, uh, I just came back with an M4, A1, as well as my AUR, A1. I played my game for the day, and I try to stay blind on everything that is um, added or changed. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, I'm going to put my stuff back. I came out with this, and I came back with these two things. Now, this right here. I'm not going to lie, it makes sense, but I'm used to seeing all my stuff just in a straight line. Also, if I end up getting an L96, an L you know I gotta do that shooting challenge on stream. Damn, 50? Okay, pause. I just want to know, is this thing bolt action too? Because if it is, we got the M82 and the L96. But the M82 hits hard as hell. You feel me? So why add an L96? I mean, I, I don't get it. The rate of fire is 90. The rate of fire is 180. So it's double the rate of fire. A thousand meters a second. 19. Well, 920 meters a second. Yeah, I need to get my hands on one of those. I need to get my hands on one of those. Alright, but yeah. So this whole interface, I mean, it's cool. No one really asked for it, but I mean, it's cool. Um, This stuff down here, though, still the same. I like that, actually. I do. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, play it up real quick, like it's DMZ. By the way, I've been playing a lot more DMZ off stream. So, uh, you know, feels cool, feels cool. Now the season pass, right? Well, first of all, before I do that, oh, would you look at that? In the ninety six. Oh, this skin is hype. Yo, that skin is hype. Yeah, I'm about to buy that. I'm about to buy that. Yep, there we go. Battle Pass upgrade to premium. We putting this skin on this bad boy right the hell now. Okay. Um, where is challenges? There we go. All right, so we did this right here. You know what I'm saying? We we did this right here, and um, yeah, it felt pretty cool. It felt pretty cool. Um. Of course, it, it was over a course of uh, two shootouts, but I mean, I got it done regardless. Cool. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty satisfying. That was pretty satisfying. And we got another M4A1. Hooray. Okay. Well, since I'm here, I guess I'll review a season pass. I guess I'm here been playing for two hours now i like the changes and the way you can select weapons for now but the new, but the new map is a little field content ish for me so far what up cricket song it's a little feel content ish for you now that piques my interest and what i want to do at the end of the stream i might i might try a zero to hero run you know just walk around and see how shit you know goes and shit you know what i'm saying um 
Okay. Season pass review time. Well, good job, devs. He put the gun right in front. I mean, that's cool. And by the way, uh, I, I mean, can I just do this real quick? Just get it off my mind. There we go. Yes, sir. That, that, that looked nice right there. Okay. Um, season pass time. Alright, boom. You just see me get through seasons one, well, levels one through nine without a hitch. And now it's just off playing, uh, well, two shootouts. I failed one of them. Because of some dude named Figure Camper. You never trust anybody with the title of the game and their name. Never. But yeah. Uh, let's see here. We got a safety vest looking ass outfit. Um, let's see. What else? Oh yeah, cassette tapes. No one actually cares. Bushes and mountainsides, but not seeing all of it. Okay. Well, we'll see it at the end of the stream. Um, or try to, rather. This skin, not gonna lie. I get the aesthetic of it, but I don't like it. Because name all the name all the places in the in the game where it's red. Yeah. Um. All right. This beard. They finally wait a minute. Fresh stitches face paint. What? Oh, they're stitches. Oh. Okay. Cool. I guess. Um. All right. Got some crowns here. We got a title that no one actually cares about. Boy Scout. Boy. Boy. This backpack is huge. This backpack is huge. With the damn flashlight. You know, devs. Never mind, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. I was about to be like, why can't the light come on? But if that was the case, then nobody would wear it. Protective goggles. They clip into my hat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cool. They look like uh, Jolly Rancher go uh, goggles to me. That's what they look like. I got a PKM. Ain't no way you can see out of this thing. Dog, this looks like... Um, yeah, X-Wing fighter helmet. Like Star Wars helmet. TIE Fighter. There you go. TIE Fighter helmet. Yeah, that, that's what it should look like to me. Because there is no way you can see out this shit right here. Dog, your face is gold. What do you mean? Brawler's gloves. Are those like studs? Okay, I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty cool. They cut off the ends of bolts and put them to their knuckles and the glove. That's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. I'll do some shit like that, to be honest with you. That's what I would do. Let's see here. All right, this is a pretty cool face mask. I might actually wear this. I this I might actually wear this. This is pretty cool. Although that looks modern, but my suit looks a bit westerny. So um, I don't know how to feel about that. But this this is really cool though. I'll let this right here. Hey, yo, give me this skin for the MP5, please. Please tell me that's in here. My vigor is bugging so bad at the moment. I'm surprised mine ain't. Bruh, give me this skin on the MP5 and I'll use it. But, ooh, this is a nice skin. Good job, devs, with the skins so far. Even though, um, I'm only at level 17. So, uh, don't get too happy. A threat mark face paint. You see, this is the equivalent of getting teardrops in jail. Y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't know. I know you've seen a couple of those jail documentaries. Your account is reset? Damn. I know you've seen some jail documentaries. I know exactly that y'all know what the fuck a teardrop means on somebody's eye. Or somebody's cheek. But this is a pretty cool aesthetic. So far, I'm pleased. So far, it's about an 8 out of 10. So far. What else we got here? A whole helmet? Trash. G-Pack? That gas pack? All right, 420. We're gonna wear this, uh, these gloves. Now this is a really subtle backpack. I like this right here. Nice and subtle. No big ass flashlight. Barely visible. Not even visible at all from the front. I like this right here. 
Uh, guys, by the way, if my audio goes screwy, just just let me know. I'm hoping it doesn't. Contact bombs, caffeine, shotgun. Okay. Personally, I prefer the the moss over my shotgun because it, it it just makes sense in my opinion. But I mean, this this skin is really cool. I ain't gonna lie. This this is a really cool skin. Okay, if you want to be a firefighter. Oh, it comes with a backpack. Okay, that's cool. You know what? Okay, boom. Have it. Do, um, how can I ask this? To those of you that have played Tom Clancy's The Division, one, not two, one. Does this not look like a cut and paste version of the damn firefighter uniform from that game? I mean, it's a cool uniform, though. Like, it actually looks clean and not, like, dirty and dusty like how everything else in this game looks. By design. I'm not calling the game dusty. I mean, it's post apocalyptic It's post apocalyptic Why would the fuck you say that word? You know what I'm trying to say. Apocalyptic. Post-COVID. I don't know. Anyways. You get 25 crowns every five levels. That's cool. A bandana. Yo, they're trying to go for the damn jail look, for real. Monkey bombs, okay. SVU. I mean, I don't know. I think this might fit the SVU. It it might. It might. What is this? Inner, inner circle. Okay, so we're in jail now, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Helmet, trash. Another title. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, Sports glasses. Trash. Helmet. That says bulletproof on it. I can definitely see a raincoat wearing this. Trash. Um, Taped up. A-U-R-A-1. Cool. But not my thing. It's kind of like... It's kind of like you going, on, going into a restaurant... And you saying, that looks tasty, I just wouldn't eat it. Like, this looks cool, I just wouldn't use it. My gloves are clipping into my suit. Uh, zero out of ten, would not recommend. If you want to get shot at, wear this. Dog, you have all three primary colors on. You are literally a lucky charm in a bowl of Lucky You're literally a marshmallow in a bowl of Lucky Charms. Good luck. Do not wear this shit right here. Okay, another subtle backpack. It looks pretty stylish, too. I can see a Gucci symbol right there on that little, uh, on that flap. I like this right here. Okay, the same skin being used over and over again is, um, quite redundant, but... You know... This might fit the UK as well. It might. Yeah, I'm not wearing this. I'll look like a uh, Bane. I'm good. Okay, now this looks a bit uh NSFW, and that's crazy because I'm pretty calm in that department. That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving the fuck on. Okay, stainless steel backplate. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. No. Immediately, no. Just, no. Def hell no. Backwards cap. Very calm. Very fitting. We, we like that. We like that. Three grenades. Cool. Um, Black Gucci. I mean, gas pack gloves. We like to see that. L96 playing at level 44. At level 44. I mean, to be fair, the damn M4 is at level 45 or some shit like that, so it's cool and all. This makes you look bigger than what you actually are, and I think that'll be a problem for you in your encounters. That's what I think. But I mean, if you want to wear it, go ahead. This is amazing. I just might put this on my bugle. I, I just might put this on my bugle. Not going to lie to you. I know I skipped this because no one actually cares. Um, th th this this looks amazing. 
Okay, pause. I might be able to buy. This shit looks like something from Dragon Ball GT. Not Z, but Dragon Ball GT. That's what this shit looked like to me. Another subtle backpack. Cool. And what is this? Okay, devs. So you cannot tell me you didn't take inspiration from Tom Clancy's The Division 2. This looks like a Rikers Island faction uniform. Again, to those of you that know, to those of you that know, if you play Tom Clancy's The Division 2, you know exactly what I mean when I say Rikers. Because that's what they look like. That's what this looks like right here, in my opinion. Strap a bit more yellow spots on it or orange spots on it. This can pass for a Rikers NPC. That, that's what I think. And that's the season pass. Cool. Um. Oh, I know what I'm about to do. Where's the store at? Go to the store real quick. Okay, cosmetics. Uh, no. Skins. Submachine guns. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh. 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 Bro. I'm getting excited. I'm getting... I've been wanting a skin for my MP5 for the longest. For the longest. So you know what? I'm buying this. Actually, no. MP5 isn't really all that fire. It's more calm, if anything. Like, this is perfect just without a purple. I don't know, maybe it's best to not put a skin on the MP5, because the playstyle on it is calm. You don't really think about fire when you play an MP5. Let's see. What what else? What else do I have that need a skin? My MP5, no, my M82 got a skin. That damn Gucci skin. I mean Versace skin. Um damn, what do I what do I have that needs a skin? What do I have that needs a skin? A74K? No, I like it how it is. I don't know. Uh, no, I'm keeping that. That's a staple. The M4 has no skin. Yeah, we're doing that. Definitely uh, Black Ops 2 Pack-A-Punch skin. That, that's that's what that shit is right there. Okay, and we do this. Or should we do this? No, we're, we're doing this. Woohoo. Alright, cool. Now, that's done. But you know what time it is, guys. I gotta do the shooting challenge because I like my shit out 100%. So, uh, brace yourself. We're gonna be here for a while.
about to quit. That's done. Hooray. That's done. Um. So I'm thinking. If I do a shootout. Do I have enough time. To. Well shootout starts about 10 minutes. Yeah I should have enough time. I'm going to try to give y'all one real encounter. Before I go on to Miri. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, yeah, what I think about the L96? Well, personally, this is a, a, a personal story. I've only seen a weapon used one time in Battlefield. I haven't seen it since. So my childhood self, when I say childhood, I mean like Battlefield 3. I didn't buy the DLC. I ain't had no money. So I never got to experience the L96. But that thing is quick. Like, mad quick. And I think the difference is it's better at being crouched than the M82. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that L96 is an MP5 of uh, rifles. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. So, my question is this. If we have this and the M82 in the game, not, yeah, this and the L96 in the game, are we gonna have this and another light machine gun in the game? Because it just seemed like it seems like this is just straight up a better version of an M82. That that's what it seemed like. So um I'm looking for a gold or a uh, military grade light machine gun pseudo assault rifle that's that's what I'm looking for next season that's what I'm looking for but hey I'm not a developer I'm a game player 
or a gamer or somebody who just puts up mid videos on YouTube. Um, I have no opinion in the matter. I can only give feedback. Uh, for right now, though, the season seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. Um, I need to think about what map am I going to go on to next? Should I use my M4A1 that I just put a skin onto? Should I? I don't even know. Yo, we just had a massive boost in viewers from like 2 to 7. What up, people on YouTube? Appreciate y'all being here. Alright, let's see if I can win this shit right here. Let's see. Really, money? Really?
okay game. Okay. If I can recall, um, I believe I said that Descent is probably the easiest map to hide on. I think I'm wrong in that regard. I think I am. I think it's Mirren. I think it is. But okay, here's what we're going to do, people. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Not take out the LD6 because that'll be suicide. We're going to take out the Bugle. 
and we're going to try this out. This we're going to try to do, or be trying to do. Oh yeah, a challenge is done. Hooray! Yes, GG Jed, GG indeed. Complete three shooting challenges. Okay. Oh, I just remembered something, guys. So, um, what's this? What's this season's uh, special award? Is it a silver raincoat? Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of interested in that. I mean, am I going to sweat my balls off to get it? No. But do I want to see what it is? Yeah, of course. And there's probably going to be some streamer out there doing exactly that. I mean, exactly that. And you see, guys, this right here is what you call a difficult lobby. Now, what would make it worse is if it's nighttime. And from the sound of it, it sounds like it's nighttime. So I am not too thrilled. Uh, on my A74K video, I know there's multiple of them. But the best assault rifle in Vigor? There is somebody who asked me, or there's somebody who said, just downloaded this game. Any tips? Guys, help him out. Because I would sit here and like type out everything he needs to know. But I'm not going to do that shit. So everybody, or if you, if you feel like it, go back to that video and just leave a sentence or two for him. Because... I, I think if he watches my videos, he's going to learn more tips. But trying to sit down and like think about like three or four tips is, is crazy. Crazy. Honestly, I think it will be better if I left him a video link. Honestly. But, I mean, the tutorial is there. Uh, this game is still ass regardless. Update or not. Oh, shit, it's daytime. Oh, boy. I don't think this is going to be a problem, even though that's a dream setup for a raincoat. I don't think it's going to be a problem.
I'm trying to do stuff to the airdrop. It's already relocated. Nice. I'm not going to see or hear that MG3 until it's too... Actually, no. I tell a fib. He's right there. Problem is you don't want to get you don't want to get too close to a gunfight because somebody might have a port and home bug out of MG3. So from anywhere between mid oh shit. And he saw me. Down. So now he's not gonna run straight toward me like how I wanted him to. Damn. Well, I messed that up. Uh, and that's behind him. I'm going to relocate before I die. Yeah. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about... I'm worried about the guy who was down here. Shooting at him. He's closer. That's what I'm worried about. And the fact that I don't see him makes me think he's in a bush. He was in and out with that container. Okay, that's the guy who just opened the box. Or just opened the container. That gotta be him. Gotta be him. Gotta be.
that's somebody different. That's not the same person. Can't be the same person. That is somebody different. I wish your boy had a freaking transmitter on him. That would be really helpful right now. But he didn't. He might have peed me just to see where I was at. Because I don't see a damn thing. That's him right there. If he grabs it, he's done. keep telling myself to not reload this headshotting gun, but look what I keep doing to myself. Well, he know he's on the hill. And the crazy thing is, he didn't shoot the guy that I shot. I got him first. But we know where he's at. He's on this hill. He's got to find him. Is that him? No, it's not. He's on that hill. That's where he's at. I just don't know exactly where he's at. That's the thing. Part of me says bid out his shots. And yes, I know I could um put, uh, what's the word? A mortar strike on him, but it wouldn't kill him. It wouldn't kill him. What up, JYB? It wouldn't kill him. So I got to find out where he's at first. Then again, he might not fire because he knows it's up. He might not even fire. Let's pretend like I'm leaving and he might grab the airdrop. That's the entire reason why he's up there. My mind is jostling back and forth because he saw me throw radiation on that airdrop, which means he shouldn't go for it if he's smart. But if he does go for it, that's a free freaking kill. 
You know what I'm saying? So if he does go for it, I want to be near enough to get a shot on him. But if he doesn't... Oh, even better. Called a mortar strike ahead of him to slow him down. Bro. Yep, found an MG guy. Yep, my boy ran from the 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 bowl of death to over to that side of the map, lying in wait like a shark. My boy, three thousand six hundred encounters played. Still with an MG3 on field, cuts it in daylight. I thought I did something. I really thought I did something. I thought I was him right there. I thought I was him, but instead, I got MG3'd. Dog, was the airdrop that important? W w was it really that important for you to be waiting in radiation like that? And the thing is, I saw him move. But by the time I saw a move, it was too late. It was just too late. That's vigor, man. Players like those make me want to stop playing the game. Because at that point, you ain't even playing the game. You just waiting. 3,600 encounters. And you still with an MG3 on field content. Look, uh, DJ, what the fuck, did I just kill, did I just, what, what was that? The thing is, right, I heard the crows, I sing the crows, but I took it as me being close to him that set off the crows, not him being close to someone else that set up the crows. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I would have step back and thought wait a minute if I do I, I'm gonna kill him sure but why did the crows go off in the back of my head I'm thinking I was close enough to him for the crows to go off no he was close enough to the camping MG3 that made the crows go off so if I were to step back and well no pun intended 
step back and look at a distance, I would have been like, oh shit, someone else is there. But then by that point, I would have used up my mortar strike. Or I already used my mortar strike. No. I already used the mortar strike on. No, I did already use a mortar strike. Yeah, because I just fucking used it. Which means I would have been waiting for a homeboy with an MG3 to leave first. And the exit is literally about three steps, by, three steps behind him. I was not going to win that if he had any kind of eye down pill. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that kind of sucks. That, that was that was going to be a... Uh, yes, mere an encounter. That was going to be a great encounter if I would have, you know, stepped back and thought about it. That was going to be a great encounter, but... Hey. Sometimes you get vigored. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get vigored. Oh, my first encounter on this map is at night. Ew. All right, guys. We're not going to count this one. Um, that's that's some funky comp stations right there. Now watch. Just because I'm not going to count this one, I'm going to run across three unarmed raincoats. But if I find a gun... Oh, well, I found a gun. If I can find a better gun... I can make it work. I can, in fact, if I can find a better gun, I mean, it's 150% boosted, so I might get lucky and find a little a Luger or some shit. But, uh, we're just roaming around, seeing what we can find. Seeing what is what. Seeing what is what, indeed. If I do get a shotgun, I gotta, well, I mean, I got a shotgun, so I gotta aim for the head on a raincoat. Hopefully it'll hit. Guys, if we get lucky, I might actually sneak up on sneak up on somebody with a shotgun. I just might. I'm indeed not going to stick up on somebody with a shotgun. That it's just not going to happen. Never mind. A damn SG one. Why are there so many flies? Okay, at least we can heal. At least we can heal in case anything goes wrong.
shot down his ass. VSS would have been a headshot for real. Had to aim for the head. Homeboy is dangerous. Everything dangerous when you when have a silver pigeon. Everything's dangerous. And I have no idea where I'm at right now. Like, none. Do you know how long it's been since I had to think about where my exits are? There's only four of them. Sad part is, I think I heard him just now. Did I hear him just now? Okay, I didn't. Let's keep going. Nope, somebody's in there though. I ain't gonna lie. Running for that exit right there. He was dead. Like, there is, I mean, there's some cover, but that's all flat ground. Like, you gone. Like, you is gone. Is that a person I see? That better not be a person I see. It's not a person. Okay. A mortar truck with only two mortars? What what the fuck over there? This map is crazy. This map is crazy.
I want to radiate this airdrop. I want to. But I also want to find some antibiotics because um I need them. If I die, bury me inside of a jewelry store. You know what happened last time I tried that? Leaving with an airdrop. Now you know it'll be a crazy bit of foreshadowing. I just said, if you take this exit, you done. It's all flat ground. Look what I'm doing. Hey, um, dumb, uh, what's the word? Is this two exits? Dumb question. How many gallons of paint do you think it took to paint those symbols? How many gallons do you think? So the exit is so wide, it has two entrances. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, uh, I dare say that that uh, Zero to Hero was um was pretty nice. Wait a minute, it feels like cheating watching you play because I don't go on until 10 p.m. CDT, so I'm getting sneak previews. Uh, if you watch the stream, you're getting this, you're getting the video that is going to go up later on this week. So technically if you watch the stream um you you get in the video already so nah don't think it's cheating think of it as like you showed up early and that's cool showing up early you know what i'm saying that is indeed a win but yes hopes if you're still here 
very field hunting. It's like field hunting with a dab of urban, like 80% field hunting and like 20% urban. This is a very interesting bugle skin. But yeah, it's like if these two maps had a baby, that's what this would be. That's how I see it. Well, guys, it has been real. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head out for the day. I got about uh, one game to play and two videos to record. And one of them has a plot twist. So, uh, Holt, Keith, Young Jojo, I see you, uh, DJ, JYB, Cricket Song, Bird Brain, Dusted, and everybody else who showed up. Thank you for showing up. I'll see you next time. Peace.